Hi there, this is Jeff Evans with Low Country Weekly, and we're here at the 12th annual Beaufort International Film Festival. And I'm here with the filmmakers from 400 Miles, and they are Zia Castro, Felix Martiz, Rolando Molina, Maria Conchita Martin, and Fabian Martin. And so I'm going to get out of their way. Um, tell me a little bit about the film. This is a father-son film, and it's um, it's a short, but it's it's got some some depth and pathos in it. You want to talk to me a little bit about that? Absolutely. I'm going to let the writers tell you that. Okay. Uh, well, basically, the, the film is, as you said, about uh, the relationship, the strange relationship between the father and the son, uh, and. The seed of the story came from my wife here, uh, and uh, basically it chronicles a, a son's journey uh, back home, uh, reluctantly to see his father who's, who's dying. Uh, along the way, along the journey, the, the 400 miles track back home, uh, he comes across a, a, a few different characters who uh, tr trigger memories of his relationship with his father, and it all culminates in this big... Uh, emotional ending, which I do not want to disclose right now. But I'll let my wife kind of talk about the seed of the story. So for a lot of times, I guess, I would tell my husband this separate little vignettes about my brother and I growing up with a father who was an alcoholic. And the movie is dramatized intensely, of course. My dad was not that mean, but it addresses several issues like alcoholism, um, the gay issue coming out, uh, how it's a stigma in the Latino community still to this day, and more importantly, about forgiveness and about family and about understanding and about love. So that's where the seed came for the movie. Rolando, did you, I'm not sure when in the process you read the script, but when you read the script, is this a character that, you know, spoke to you in some way or... In many some ways. resonance with you? Um, uh, not, not, not personally, but um, uh, definitely in the aspect of uh, in the fact that I'm, I'm a gay man myself, and um, I have many friends uh, Latin descent that had gone through very similar situations when coming out to their parents, and it really broke my heart. And uh, I was a youth counselor for an organization where uh, a lot of these young teen Latin kids uh, would come up to me and uh, tell me they've gotten kicked out from coming out or beat up for coming out. And uh, all that was very heartbreaking to me. So when I was approached um, uh, about this film, the short film by a, a mutual actor friend of ours, um, I read the script and 13 pages into it, uh, I called them in tears and said that I'm in, I'm definitely in. Um, Every time that, uh, I think that my performance is very organic and very natural because all I kept thinking about was those poor kids that have gone through this. And me, myself, I was very fortunate. My parents, uh, uh, you know, they, they, it was difficult for them at first because, you know, of course, Latin parents, like Maria said, it's been a stigma in the Latin community for many, many years because of religion and whatnot. Uh, but, um, uh, uh, it's a really uh, resonated with me, you know, uh, with these kids having to go through everything that they've gone through. So the performance came out naturally, you know, and the emotional part of it. Every time I watch it, and I watched it over a dozen times already over so many film festivals and whatnot, um, and every time that uh, I go to one of these film festivals, I have people come up to me afterwards and tell me, God damn it, we hated you in the beginning. <laughs> but at the end, you just had us in tears and, uh, you know, thank you. And, and then, you know, I had some, some kids come up to me and say, thank you for doing this film because, uh, you know, uh, it reminded me of my father. And uh, that's, uh, I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> but, you know, moments like that is what makes it all worthwhile. And, uh, and it, it was definitely a passion project for me and for all of us involved, I think. So, yeah. Zia, you're a co-producer but also you did the casting. So did you have a hard time finding actors to, to do this, the ones that you, you know, people that you were looking for to, yeah. to fill a specific role? Yeah, um, so we had kind of 
there were a few different struggles with casting. One was we we kind of we were representing a family. We kind of wanted to make sure that they actually look alike or you know could be potentially family. Um, the other thing was that we were casting um, generationally, so we had to cast the kids to match um, the adults, and then obviously the talent. And in some regards, um, finding, especially like kid actors, we were blessed to find Giselle, but for the role of the main character, um, we, we struggled a little bit casting the, the child for that. Um, and, you know, we would go back and forth about it. It was kind of a, you know, communal collective process and uh, we all had strong opinions um, but I remember when we found Peter, uh, Peter Cortez. yes Peter Cortez he like I was like that's the one yeah. and you know there's a lot of skepticism <laughs> <laughs> but um, like I think that you know I, I saw something that he did um, and he just owned this he was in a scene with an adult or a few adults and he owned it like yeah. he was just it was all about him and and because the character has gravity, we really needed that. Uh, we needed someone that could own every scene, uh, and that's that's what he did. And we were also blessed to have Giselle, which is the other um, child actor, and um, we actually cast it for her. We cast it in reverse because we had Eddie to play the adult, and we cast Peter. And when it came to Giselle, she was such a standout. We were working to find someone that could potentially be there. Wow, Felix. This is not your first trip to be That's right here. No, I mean, you've been here, what, five, six I film festivals? I think it's five. Yeah. Been and, here before. And been, you know, an award winner in different categories, you know, won a director award, um, a number of other things. And so talk a little bit about this film and some of the challenges you had. And, and you know, if it, if it, if the final product kind of met what your vision of it was when you started? I came into the project um, as, a, as a hired gun to a certain degree at first. You know, <laughs> they, had, they had a couple of directors beforehand uh, of opportunity to do it. And then when they approached me to come on board, uh, you know, talking to Fabian and, and, and believing in Fabian. I've seen his films in the past and him and Victor are, are friends. And I definitely, whenever I see somebody very passionate about a project, about, about a script, I find it as a you know, as as an artist, if I could help in any kind of way, if I could do whatever it needs to happen to make you know it possible to come alive, I will I will do that. And in this case, uh, I think we just needed a bit of push and encouragement because these guys were there. The ones I've been involved with the project for such a long time, you know, the writers <laughs> Maria and Baby, and of course it's their baby. So it's my job to help you know <laughs> feed that baby a little more so you get stronger and, mm -hmm. and better and. and all seen grow up together, and, and the way that happened, I mean, it was, it was very beautiful. The story, I, I think, was very strong and resonates. The, the father-son stories always. It's funny enough. Funny enough, I love father-son stories. I don't think I've written one yet. <laughs> and, you know, so thanks to Fabian, I got to finally uh, direct one of those <laughs> movies that, that I'm very fond of. And forgiveness. The theme of forgiveness is one of those themes that just again resonates with everybody who sees it and everybody who knows about it. So it's a uh, it's. A project that I think at the end of the day I'm just very proud of. Uh, Is that why you made me do maybe about 13 takes of that last scene? I, where I hope we had enough time to that when I was in, in the yeah. hospital. So, you know, you know, 13, maybe 14 different takes. I we think. used 14. It, it, oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I, I I don't know how I still had tears coming out of me. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's one of those things that as a director. Oh. I was I was very just kind of coming into the project and saying I need to see uh, casting is a huge part of it for me. You know, we cast uh, more than talent. I want because I've worked with a lot of non-actor, non, non, non trained non professional actors, uh, in the sense of I'm casting because it's something that they have a soul and they have the character so within them that I know I can get out. So in this case, you know, coming in with Rolando and so involved with the project, it was one of those things where I'm like, okay, you know this character through and through. I have a vision of what it is. Let's see where we meet with that. And sort of towards somewhere in the middle, it was. I know it's in there, dude. I know it's in there. And Famous last words. <laughs> one more. No, no. <laughs> he, we had a nickname for Felix. It was back. Where's back to one at? Oh, back, back to one. To one. <laughs> ah, back to one. And it sounds. It sounds grueling, but in all sincerity, it 
it gets it gets you what you need. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm sorry, and, and for that 14th take, I think we were moving on because take like 12 or 13, we were we were on a time rush, you know, we were on a set, we were, mm-hmm. money was coming out of yeah. Fabian's pockets, and it's yeah. like we got to move. We got to move. Felix may be having visions of Stanley Kubrick. So <laughs> no, no, I no, no, trust me, I do not. Uh, but then we, you know, we actually were wrapping up and going, and Fabian asked me, "Is that going to work?" And I'm like, "Of course, we're mm-hmm. a professional. It's going to work." And he goes, are you guys? And then he asked me, he goes, are you happy with that? Yeah. I said, I told him it'll work. I just wanted to make sure that th- th- this scene, this scene in particular, was a very pivotal scene, I think, in the entire story, because this is the moment of forgiveness. This is a moment where um, both uh, Rigoberto and Raul get what they're both looking and, and need so dire in their life. So I wanted to make sure that he got what he needed. So. Were you happy with it? Yeah, very. Thank you all. I, mm-hmm. You know, the folks in Beaver hope your film thrives not only here, but you know, wherever you guys go next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, having me. For, the, for the people that are new here, mm-hmm. welcome to town. And, Thank you. Um, Thank you. Felix and Zia, and we'll see you next year. <laughs> um, by the way, your sweet tea. So I need. <laughs> I need the secret because I've had sweet tea in California. That's not sweet tea. <laughs> this it sweet loses tea. something in the travel. <laughs> I think it's something in the air, the water. The water I don't know, but or the tea leaves themselves, or everything combined. I don't know, but I we will. Uh, we will text you the recipe. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.